Hello, everybody. My name is Adrienne Montgomery, and I'm here with Chris Sletner. And Chris has been working with V Technologies, the developers of Starship, for a number of years. Chris, as I understand it, there are several new enhancements available in this new version 12 release. Today, we're going to be talking about the freight rules. How do you save your Starship users time and money with your interface to accommodate specific rules? We actually have a, a set of logic that can be applied as a filter when you're writing back data into the ERP order or invoice. And that can be done conditionally using fields from the ERP system on the input to trigger that logic or fields within the Starship shipment itself as criteria to drive that logic. There are some standard rules that you can put into place with the integration uh, that are more or less universal and those live inside of the uh, customized interface section. So if you go to Setup, Financial System Interface, and you get into your write back settings, you have some more or less global rules that you can apply. And these have always been there in Starship. You can always write back the freight. You can prompt the shipper. So a prompt will come up on the screen, and they can say yes or no if they want to apply the freight or you can disable that altogether. What we're going to take a look at today are freight rules where you can add some logic to the integration and drive that with fields coming out of either the ERP or within Starship itself. And they can be a combination of multiple sets of rules. To get out the freight rules, you go into the Setup menu and Freight Rules. And here you can set a base level of charges, either the list price, which is the published rate from the carrier, or the contract charges, which are your negotiated rates. So you can start with that as a base value. You can also have package level charges enabled, so there are several variables surrounding that as well. You can also apply handling for uh, collect or third-party uh, build, recipient build shipments. So if you wanted to add a handling fee for uh, putting together the shipment, even though the customer is going to be picking up the charges on their own account, you can also assess those charges on top of the shipment as well. Then here we go into define freight rules. And this is where you can add the conditions on when and if you want to charge freight. So I have my rules here. And I can move these rules up and down the list. So I more or less build a hierarchy of rules. And you can also disable the rules if you want. So if you have a rule in place and then business conditions change, you have the ability to disable a rule as well, turn that off. We're going to go in now and add a new rule. I'm going to click on Add New Rule here. That will bring up a different menu. And then you can define different types of charges as well, both package charges and shipment charges. You have the freight charges, the accessorial charges, so fees that are assessed, such as residential, COD, any of those extra charges that the carrier will hit you with. You can also define those here. Handling fees, they can be done at the package level or the shipment level or you can affect the total amount of freight as well. So you can take all those charges, add them together, and that add your logic on top of that for a percentage or fixed dollar amount markup. First, we're going to add a package handling fee. And then you have several choices here. You can set a over or under amount, a minimum or maximum charge that you want to assess. You can increase the freight. You can decrease it. You can add a fixed amount or you can also perform a calculation. So you have several different types of freight rules that you can create. In this case, we're going to add a fixed amount per box. And I'll enter that here on this screen. We're going to add an additional $10 per box. And that can be done you know, by the number of orders in the shipment or the number of packages in the shipment. We're going to do it by the number of packages. Now you can say, we're going to always apply this rule. So that would be a standard handling fee. You wanted to add in a certain amount across the board, regardless of what type of shipment it is. Here's where the logic comes into play. We're going to do this only under certain conditions. And then we'll define our conditions here. And here you can have multiple sets of rules. So we're going to use a value uh, from within Starship itself. You also have access to all of your ERP fields, both the customer and the sales transaction fields. You can use that to drive the logic on when and if you're going to charge more freight. 
here we're going to select a package field. And let's say whenever the length of the package, and you have several qualifiers here, equal to, not equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, less than, less than or equal to. We're going to say it's greater than or equal to. And then you have field values here that you can pick, or you can also put in a constant value. So this would be like a fixed value. So we're going to say 10 inches. Whenever the length is greater than 10 inches, we're going to go ahead and add that handling fee. And I can add rules here. I can click on the plus sign and add multiple conditions. So if you have different sets of criteria that you want to combine to come up with your rule, you have the ability to add multiple fields as qualifiers to apply that logic. We'll say OK to that. And then here you have a preview of your rule. It basically says, you know, whenever the Starship field, the pack length is greater than 10, we're going to apply this rule to add $10 per box. You also have a checkbox here that you can select to say if this rule applies, don't add any additional rules. We'll finish that up, and then it'll put it here in the list of fields. We're going to move that up the list, and we can apply that as our second rule. So if you had a customer uh, category, um, a, a silver customer category and a gold customer category, and maybe a diamond level customer category, right. you could apply these bulk rules however you generate them to an individual category based on maybe their sales volume. Correct. Uh, so if you have discounts based on different tiers of customers, uh, we can reflect that. 